to today's life. So today we are going to be focusing in on the area of alchemizing financial abuse into abundance. So first of all, I'm curious to know where you're all joining me from today. Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? So please comment and let me know. Okay, so as I was saying, we are focusing on the theme of financial abuse and alchemizing this into abundance. So I'm curious to know, first of all, what does financial abuse mean to you? And what ways have you experienced financial abuse? Okay, so for those of you who just joined, the questions were, what does financial abuse mean to you and what ways have you experienced financial abuse? Hello, Senka, welcome. So, let me know. So I'm going to talk a little bit about financial abuse first of all. So a lot of people do experience financial abuse. Hello, Shirley. So guys, we are currently in Greece, so we're about to start our retreat in this beautiful villa. You can see it just behind me. I'll just show you. And Shirley is inside. <laughs> Hi, Hazel, how are you? So guys, we're talking about financial abuse. I'm curious to know, what is it to you? What does it mean to you? What ways have you experienced it? Most people do experience it in some way, shape or form, and it can happen on different levels. So it can happen, come out and say hello if you want, Shirley. It is, it is stunning, it's absolutely fantastic we love it here so we're starting on Sunday but we checked in today because we wanted to spend more time here and then we're, we're staying for a few days after so a lot of people experience financial abuse and it, it happens on different levels it happens you know within within relationships within family relationships and then on different levels in society government there's all sorts of different ways it can occur and a lot of people don't actually recognize that they have experienced it so I'm curious to know what does it mean to you how have you experienced it and how has it affected you hello Teresa from inside or from outside to inside so I'm gonna go through a few ways that it can show up and it may evoke something in you so it can be within a family context where you experience a lot of control around money, around food. It can be that you have a parent who behaves in that way or perhaps both parents. So here's some of the ways that I've, I've seen it. You have you know, parents uh, controlling their children or their adult children with inheritance or the promise of inheritance. You know, it can play out within siblings, you know, ener you know fighting or energetic fighting and battles, which is about inheritance about money and this can really block your money flows off and it really takes a lot of energy from you it can be you know being brought up in trains to believe that you are responsible for your parents financially it can be in other ways as well um it can be where you have been used as a child a teenager or an adult to make money for other people and unfortunately it can be connected to sexual use as well and this is a common thing that unfortunately does occur in this world so if you have experienced any of these things it can show up in many different ways as well that is financial abuse financial abuse is also being taught corrupt things corrupt ways of making money um, it can show up in so many different ways it can also be in invalidating you in regards to your own creative capacity so we're all born with massive creative capacities to create to create money to create wealth to create many different things for ourselves and others so we're born and we are this infinite creative power energy that's what our we all are that's our true innate essence a brightness a lightness a vitality 
if you look at a little baby you will see that in them little toddlers unless they are sick or they've been traumatized that is what you'll see and that is our true essence so what happens is is when we experience abuse which can be financial but it doesn't have to be it can be emotional it can be psychological it can be different ways and different forms that can show up we have to bend our true essence into all of these mental energetic and spiritual structures which ties us up like a pretzel and it cuts off our flow and our creative capacities so curious now how have you experienced it let me know because I want to do some clearings on it so when you experience financial abuse or even a uh, any type of abuse it blocks up your money flows and here's the thing there's different levels that you need to look at when you're actually resolving this there's the emotional level how does it affect you emotionally you know it can leave you feeling hopeless helpless there's dependent there's no light at the end of the tunnel so for example if you have been brought up and trained to believe that you are dependent on a parent for money you know this is something that I did experience myself I've experienced probably most if not all of the things I've, I've actually named and what occurs is when you are brought up to believe that you are dependent emotionally it, it leaves you feeling hopeless helpless that there's no light at the end of the tunnel it also creates this dynamic which is similar to like a slave master dynamic where you feel or operate even because you may not feel it but you're operating as though they are the master of your reality it's like they're God so what happens is is you make choices a lot of the time unconsciously based on what they're going to do what they're going to say what they might do what they might not do so all of that can we start to move that out can we cancel resolve desire to switch you from the source point on all levels of your being AWS precisely affects us on the cycle level you know often where you're dealing with this so number one if you've experienced financial abuse or any type of abuse it's not about the money the key core thing that it's about it's about power that's what it comes down to okay so if you've experienced it it's about having power and control over you there's also these mind game energetics that go along with it so let's start to find all of those and start to move all of that out now one thing that does not usually get addressed which needs to be addressed when you are dealing with clearing financial abuse or any type of abuse is the spiritual component the spiritual component plays a massive part because if you do not address the spiritual component and resolve it you often just find yourself stuck like you're going around in a loop because we are multi-dimensional beings and here in this 3d reality we are seeing perceiving feeling and operating from a space that is very limited we're only seeing a very small portion of reality that is not i would even say that's not true reality okay so the spiritual component plays a really big part in it and where you've experienced financial abuse number one one thing that can occur is there are these energetic spiritual constructs devices machines that are used against you which can turn your abilities your money-making abilities against you and there's a specific thing where the way I see and perceive it it's a box and it's a vibrational frequency box and it's a construct that is made of many different different elements and what it does is it keeps you in this but it keeps you in the energy of enslavement and poverty pain and suffering and you cannot get outside of that box no matter what you do that has to be deconstructed and removed but there's many other different spiritual elements that are not addressed and if they're not addressed there's an issue you're not going to get out of what you need to get out of but another thing I want to say to you is is even if you feel like you haven't experienced direct financial abuse you need to look at the spiritual level and what is going on on the spiritual level so here's some of the things that I've been seeing in people lately there are vampiric structures devices energies that are basically stifling off energy and this energy is going elsewhere to be used for something else. 
and you may have no idea or if you're very sensitive you might have an awareness or you may know something is going on but here's what you might experience tiredness giving up defeat being drained so first of all can we find all of the energy draining devices can we clear those out can we go now and can we take out vampiric structures structures that are stifling off your energy because or resolve dissolve just switches you from the source wane on all levels of your being AWS precisely because here's the other thing where there is abuse there is usually a lot of darkness so the person or the per people who are perpetrating that onto you there is a lot of darkness and that is also tied into different realms and different dimensions and they're being influenced but there is this transference that occurs then if this is in your family there can be these ties and bonds to certain energies which is giving it an energetic right into your space and that needs to be removed so first of all let's just find the devices the implants that are straining that are stifling your energy as cause or resolve disaster switches you from the source point on all levels of your being aws precisely let's clear as many bonds as you can cause or resolve disaster switches you from the source point on all levels of your being aws precisely so normally what needs to happen is, is these bonds need to be looked at in depth in order to kind of clear it and just make sure that there is no access points. We're going to clear or, or close down as many wormholes, portals, back doors, side doors, front doors that can be shut down now. Now I'm seeing actually for some of you, you're in relationships or you have been in relationships in the past. And because you're in a relationship, there's a sharing of the energy field. And there you have took on some of the stuff that is not yours. And actually the bloodline of your partner connected to money. So I don't know if any of you have found since you've been in a relationship or marriage. Or even in the past, your money flow has stopped. So first of all, can we let go of what is not yours? Okay, can we clear out all outdated ideas, false ideas, oh, holographic inserts in regards to what oneness is? Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve, which is you from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Can we remove, can we actually do a purification process on heavy metals from your body? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm working with my spiritual team and we're actually just going to go in and we're going to take find any splits in your consciousness that can come back at this time in any place dimension planet or have been placed into anything any machines or any other things for whatever reason we're going to just call that back we're actually going to send in mandates we're going to revoke the vows the oaths the agreements the obligations the permissions so if you agree to that, please say yes. And then we're going to just send in mandates to reclaim those energies that can be brought back now. We're removing all energetic chains, devices, cut like, you know, handcuffs, but around the feet is what I'm seeing. We're removing all of that. Because the result is actually switches you from the source wane on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Okay, so I'm seeing some of you have engaged in certain things and you thought that you were engaging in one thing, but actually it wasn't what you thought and your energy was took and it was stifled off to be used in a different way. Okay, so we're just going to bring in clarity and truth. We're going to remove as many infrastructures that can go at this time we're going to cancel resolve dissolve she switches you to find the source point and all levels of your being a w so okay there's some entity energy around this so we're just going to clear all entities removing all parasitical energy okay there are some genetic markers we're going to clear those out we're going to remove any stamps any plugs and anything that allows you to be drained, tapped into, 
Okay, so this is going to sound a little weird, but well, there are some body parts I'm seeing where they're like energetic, spiritual aspects of, I guess, the anatomy that have been took. They are somewhere else but things have been placed into you and your consciousness and i'm specifically seeing the brain the heart and the lungs so we are going to just clean out what can go now and every vow oath union communion ritual spell curse bind anything else blood pact that you your bloodline made which allowed this created this undoing reversing clearing cancelling as a result is of to switch is it from the source plane on all levels of your being a w s precisely someone's saying i can feel that about my ex-partner some of this is going to need further work but we're going to see what we can clear looking at the other comments um i can feel it tie you into only receiving money from one place can't seem to manifest from other sources okay i'm going to ask a question why can't you receive from other sources tell me your first thought feeling or solution. so <clears throat> Let's clear the dark cords and ties with any ex-partner and actually any partner, any dark, dark cords, dark ties. Okay, I'm seeing it with parents as well. Clearing that. Because the result is what you switches you from the source plane on all levels of your being, A, W, S, I, C. Okay, there's a little bit of confusion for some of you between love and control, love and dominance, love and pain, love and sacrifice. So we're going to go back to the point of conception where that was learned for you and your ancestors. Going to start to clear those genera intergenerational patterns out, clearing that, clearing all templates, feelings, thoughts, inserts, and everything else. We're going to bring in a correction now. Okay, so what I'm seeing with that, some of you were allowing a lot of toxic energy in because you thought that that was love, and that's actually clearing out now. Okay, there are some things in the higher chakras, the ninth chakra, that needs to be cleansed. So we're just going to ask for a cleansing, a clearing, and a purification process. We're going to remove, we're going to clean the spine. Okay. So anywhere your energy, your sexual energy, ask the question, why is it not available to me? The other question is, is, is that yours or did you pick that up, adopt that from someone else? Everything that does not allow you to have full clarity on that, let's cause a result dissolve. Just for you to from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS. So what we're doing now is we're going to send in a specific set of frequencies, light frequencies that are going to come in and they're going to clear your throat chakra because there's a lot stored in there. Okay, there are some devices that have been put there to silence you, so we're going to remove all of that. Any vow, oath, agreement, obligation, commitment to be silenced for whatever reason, going back to the point of conception, bringing in truth and clarity, removing all backup programs, removing all vows of what would happen if you broke it, clearing all of that, canceling all of that. Okay, there's a lot of chains coming off now. So, control is another one so all the ways that you have been controlled with food with resources because the result is i just switches you from the source plane on all levels of your being a ws precisely all the effect the impact that that had on you and your reality all the messages that that sent you all of the structures that that created emotional physical psychological energetic and spiritual about the world world's view and your relationship with money can we move all of that out can we come of choose what you do from the source plane and all levels of your being a WSIC beliefs ideas structures that anyone is in control of your money all the ways that you learn to shut down your ability to receive as a defense to trauma and all the ways let's just remove that let's cause a result dissolve she switches you from the source point on all levels of your being a w -S -S -E. so another one then is where you're made to feel you're responsible it can be done in subtle ways it may not be you know you're responsible for taking care of me financially it may be subtle 
you know I have no money there can be a lot of manipulation so there's this heavy burden that's put on you and then on some level what can occur is you can have feelings of obligation maybe even feelings of anger so there's this conflict then there's these feelings of burden and it can just block up your money so all of that bringing truth on what is your responsibility and any vows, oaths, promises, contracts, agreements, obligations to take care of anyone bringing in truth and clarity all contracts revoking those that need to be revoked any that just need to be updated let's ask that they are updated now clearing okay so all of the ways that you were deprived of money of food of care of love or anything as a tactic to control you even if it was unconscious as a way to create compliance we're going to just resolve all of that showing you the truth about your anger and that it is valid we're showing you that you can let it go and how to let it go and why to let it go and there's some fractured energy that's coming back now so we're recalling that back we're cleaning it and then we're just we're just recreating your heart space clearing your solar plexus Okay, clearing all puppeteer programming in regards to money. Okay, clearing your space. Okay, how's everybody doing, guys? So all the all the perceptions, the feelings, the thoughts that you're carrying about what is available and what is not available that is not even yours, can we let it go? Okay, everywhere you have took on anyone else's financial reality, their manipulations, their projections. That idea you can't have it as a woman, is that your brother's? Is it, some, is it someone else's? Is it really yours? Can we step back and allow you to see now and perceive truth? Show you how to grow your wealth, your money, your life, your business, and how to do that in all ways. The highest and best way for you without the fear the perception that you're going to lose bringing in truth and clarity clearing out as many patriarchal systems okay guys I have to finish up in a moment please let me know okay feeling a lot lighter good let me know how you're doing so guys I'm gonna now just seal up the space okay I'm gonna seal up the space and I'm going to put you all in the energy of wholeness, truth, clarity, open your connection to source and to the earth. So guys, a couple of things. Please drink plenty of water. You can go back and listen to this again and you will receive the clearings again. Hi, Angela. Hello, nice to see you. You will receive the clearings again. The other thing I wanted to mention is this I'm doing a, a one day course June 9th 10 a.m. London time to 4 p.m. online and this is about clearing financial abuse but it's also like it's financial abuse but it's abuse is kind of tied directly to money how it affects you how it negatively impacts you one of the core themes are these vibrational boxes that you are put in in a spiritual level and when you are in it it's very difficult to get out of it so we're really looking at it from the emotional the psychological etc but the spiritual to get you out of that it's spiritual oppression basically so we have that coming up guys um, sorry for some reason I shared something else <laughs> okay so here is the correct link so we have that coming up just so you know um, thank you very much for joining we did do another clearing uh, on Monday actually which will be sent out soon so you can join if you're not on the mailing list and you'd like to join just DM me that's the best way I think and we can get that to you. Thank you very much, Natalie. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, these are clearings that you should re redo. Time 
and deeper each time. Okay, guys. Have a great weekend. See you for now.